All right, how are you doing? I'm back. We're going to work on uh, Copperhead Road. Uh, we're going to do it in drop D tuning. I'm going to walk you into drop D tuning as we go here. So you've got your open D string, third one down. You take your E, and you line them up. Getting pretty close. Sounds good. Should be octave of each other. Where we go. So I'll kind of get into a bit of the groove of it, and I'll sing a bit, and then I'll come back, and uh, and we'll touch it up. All right. So it's a lot on the D, right? So you want to kind of float around. I love that low D. This is an old Gibson J45 too, and they just uh, they scream for these low notes. But anyways, so I always hit that, ride that. That's your boom. When you get that foot going, I don't know if you've ever heard this in a bar, if you've ever played it, and people tend to bang their feet on the ground, and you want to emphasize that, right? So. So this little riff here, it's it's bass in the D. To where it switches to the G, but you play it up here on the fifth fret on the uh, on the drop D. Something like that, right? Alright. All right. Almost like I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so you want to really drive that, you want to drive that hard, get that E going. This is a great song to play when there's like 50 people in the room and everyone's talking and you want to shut them up. <laughs> so, right? You know, so it, it's, I don't get technical. I mean, you hit the notes, you find the notes in there. Those are the ones I showed you. Hit them all. Just do what sounds right, you know, and use your palm mute quite a bit, right? So when you get that loud, so I'm putting my palm right next to the bridge about an inch in, as dynamics I call it, but volume fluctuations, adding dynamics and adding, you know, feeling to the song. So you may start up. So that little riff there, I'm just kind of using the D chord. And that's it, right? I'm playing the D and I'm sliding in that low D as well. Alright, so then I go to the D, uh, the G in the, uh, in the chorus or at the end of the verse. Uh, so end of each verse it kind of switches, it does the change, so it's uh, 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 where am I here? 
hundred pounds of yeast and copper, everybody knows. Now the revenue man want a granddaddy bear. I'm playing a G chord. I play my G chord with uh, with an extra string on. You don't have to do that. I usually put the string on the B uh, there as well, but you can just use E or whatever. I like this one. You see it. I'm not playing the uh, the root on the G because it's not there because we're in drop D, right? So it's gone altogether. So there's all kinds of places to play a G and drop D tuning. I just play it there. It's simple. Revenue man on a granddaddy bear. He hit it up the heart with everything he had. Now when I play drop D and I'm in the D chord, I tend to leave the E string open. And the reason I do that is kind of, this is my... <laughs> <laughs> my salute to my audience. I'm kidding. Uh, but this finger kind of leaves you all kinds of options. So that kind of stuff which you can get into and so you can kind of add that in, right? When you get into different parts of the song if you want, but uh, to keep it straight. Uh, that's about it. So it's got the one change and then the only other thing is where it goes. So all you're doing there is you're just you're playing that D chord and you're muting it. And I, I mute it with my uh, with my fancy finger here and also my palm. So hey, kind of goes into it. And that song and that drop D can lead you into all kinds of other tunes. And something I like to do is to uh, not stop playing. If you get a bunch of people watching you or something's going good and you're you're in the middle of this thing and you go on your own. Here come on flat top. Right, or whatever. You can get into all kinds of tunes uh, through that. And I'll get into some of those in later posts and we'll I'll do a lot more on drop drop D because I really like it. You can All kinds of fun with it. Uh, you can play the major scale in there. You can find everything and you've got that low end and if you've got a Gibson you've got to love it. Trust me. So uh, enjoy that. Uh, let me know your comments and uh, I'm going to throw some more stuff on there later. It's, again it's pretty unconventional. This is uh, party tunes just to have a good time and uh, I'm not going to get too technical on you so but I'm going to show you how to maybe play with the crowd, work the volumes and all that kind of stuff that not a lot of people talk about. Ciao. Talk later. Thanks.